Hello, everybody. This is Kate Rashni from Dedicated. I'm at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit, and I stopped by the Prophecy booth to talk to Magic. Magic, how's your Gartner experience going? Yeah, great to see you. Thank you so much. It's going really well. People are all excited, energetic about data, AI, hopefully Prophecy as well. Looking forward to this conversation. Yes, I've been seeing your booth was so busy. I love to see all the action. I know you have a demo you're going to show me later, but a good place for us to start is what do you do at Prophecy and how does Prophecy help customers? That's a really good question. So my name is Maciek. I'm one of the co-founders and CTO of Prophecy. Um, I come from a little bit more of an AI and machine learning background. In my past, I used to build a lot of ML models, ML, AI models. And I think the typical problem that everyone has always experienced was getting the right clean data into those models. And this is where Prophecy started. We kind of came out with the thesis that uh, there is Snowflake, there is Databricks, there is a lot of good engines, and they create an environment that allows you to execute your pipelines at faster every single year. But the data tooling space has been lacking a lot mm. and the usability for those uh, engines, right? So we came out and said, hey, we need to give some tool to the data users that's really self-serve, allows them to build their data pipelines much, much faster while doing that at a really governed way, right? So that engineers don't write their own random code using whatever APIs, but they follow the right performance standard. So, okay, great. Now, when you say self-service, is it really yeah. self-service? Tell me more about that. Yeah, so it really is self-service okay. and it's meant to be for all the data users. Initially, we started the company from a much more data engineering perspective. So there was a lot of Python, Scala, coders that didn't really know how to use Spark yet, but the tool allowed them to do exactly that. But as we've made those users productive, we saw that there is thousands of more users in every enterprise that are coming from tools maybe like Alteryx or used to build their spreadsheets, process CSV files, right? And those users were also looking for solutions. They wanted to be onboarded on Databricks, but without having to do all the hand coding in PySpark. And so those are the users that we are bringing on the platform platform right now and they're seeing a lot of successes with it. Great. Well, I'm glad to hear that they're seeing success. Um, I think the audience would love to see a quick demo. Just okay. It's always great to show versus talk about it, right? Okay. So, awesome. Uh, Let's look at the actual product then. Yes. Uh, so this is your project. Uh, this is an example marketing project. We are loading data from LinkedIn, Google Ads, etc., and pumping it into our account report. So this is great. This is actually code behind the scenes on Git, all SQL, Python, etc. But there is some gap here, right? And you can see it's all a little bit disconnected. So we'll go in now and use Prophecy Magic to make it all work well. Uh, so I'll just open up one of those models here, which is just a table that we're trying to produce. It's my Google Ads spending report. Is it really called Magic or is it like Magic? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah, so it's not magic. It's usually what we call a copilot. Yes. Right? But we'll see AI actually being here with us and suggesting what to do next. Okay. Um, so I'll drag and drop one of the first tables. It is my account history. And this is where you can see already AI come in and help you out, right? So it suggests for us what sources do we want to join with, right? And we drag and drop this account history. And we might want to join with account stats. Perfect. So now we don't need to look for new data sets, but suggest that for us automatically. And it created the next join for us too. Wow. Uh, we can click run on any one of those. Uh, we just need to make sure that we are connected to the warehouse. In this case, our Databricks. Okay. And now we can just start running and seeing the data on the other side. We can open up and look at how the join looks like. And we have a very, really very a visual, uh, easy to use expression builder, right? So we see what columns we are joining on and AI predicted all of that for wow. us. Wow, okay, that was my next question. Like you didn't have to build any of this. Exactly, just... it just showed up for us on the canvas. We can look at the actual data on the other side. Uh, this is how it's looking, right? Yeah, lots of data, three and a half million records processed in a few seconds, wow. right? And I can keep using AI to build more of that pipeline, right? So I can come in and say, hey, I'd like to sum impressions um, spend cost for each account. And even as I'm mistyping it, I hope the AI is going to understand what I mean on the other side. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And perfect. There we go. This is the exact transformation that oh, I wow. needed to do, the right aggregate. And I can open it up and I can keep interacting with it, right? So it's not that I'm limited by what the AI did. If I want to add a few more columns to it, really easy visual click through. I can save it on the other side, run it again. And what's really interesting 
is that as I'm building out this pipeline, as our AI building this pipeline for me, everything is well documented, clean code on the other side. That was my next question. If it's actually documenting and if you can, uh, you know, yes. go back and see who did what. So I guess that's exactly. Okay. So you can see. Uh, I mean, I've built out all of it, so so it's it's me. But you can see that for every single piece of logic, there is a comment that was automatically written. There is a documentation file that's also created for you. And this code is also completely editable. So if you have more of those data engineers who like to, you know, do their own coding, yes. you can actually start typing here and you have the best of the best IDEs in the code also available with full AI prediction too, right? So you see that AI predicted the SQL for me. I can go in and fix it however I want, finish it up with my final select query. Uh, Let's just do select from that limit. And now as I've completed this pipeline, I can go back to the visual and everything is represented back to the visual canvas again for me, right? So I have that limit wow. that was created. So you can go back and forth from analysts who might not care that much about coding to data engineers who can go in, productionize, operationalize your pipelines. That That is so impressive. Is this something that your clients can currently use? Absolutely, yeah. So this is all available currently for all of our clients. There is a lot more fun new AI features that are coming out over the next few months, but this is already available and we are getting some tremendous feedback from large enterprises using it. Can you give uh, my audience a sneak preview of some of these AI features? Yeah, so actually one of the really interesting things that we are working on is you can see that there is this small AI button right here hidden that allows you to interact with the chatbot. That's great. We see some customers like Amgen or J&J getting tremendous amount of performance productivity with it, 20 to 60%. But we are trying to bring it to the next level where the people can start interacting with agents natively mm. and task an agent to build a whole data product for them wow. from like business specification. So you can give it like a regulatory multi-page business specification, just throw it at them. And a few minutes later, you have a whole data product built out. Wow. So as opposed to small features that do very specific things, now it's the agent doing tremendous amount of work for you that's very monotonous and boring yeah. but then you can go in and with the visual copilot enhance it and bring it from that 80 percent to all the way to 100 percent complete data product amazing so, so yeah so there is a lot of those agentic features that are coming out stay tuned there are some really cool demos coming soon for that amazing thank you so much and magic uh just tell the audience where can they go to learn more and actually start using Prophecy. Visit our website um, and you'll be able to learn much more about the product. Just feel free to reach out. Uh, the product has a free version that's also available for anyone to try out. So if you feel like just giving it a spin, go for it and let us know what you think. Great, and make sure you follow Prophecy on all social media platforms so then you're in the know when all of these new agentic AI features are coming Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Maciek, awesome. thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, this was amazing. Thank yes. you so much.